engineer turned nasi ayam restaurant owner what made him do it. In 2017, an engineer decided to take a leave of fair and resign from his high-paying job in Shao to open nasi ayam mafia. Growing up working part-time in his family-owned restaurant alongside his parents, Nick Johari Nimat always had the passion for opening his own business running through his fans. Nick Johari ventured into the F&B line by offering a coffee store at first with only one worker with him. He then added more items on the menu and managed to open four other stores or in the span of one month. Why nasi ayam? When choosing the type of food we wanted to serve, I was looking for a dish that was easy to cook so that our staff on duty could easily follow the recipe and work magic. A plus point is that nasi ayam is something enjoyed by all races and ages. The impact of pandemic. In the beginning, the orders we received were completely out of hand. We were not able to accommodate them, but we quickly redesigned the cafe infrastructure to accommodate the large amount of orders and thankfully, we were able to get back on track very quickly to sustain the business. Why Food Panda? There were even some vendors that dedicated a whole segment or area within their store or restaurant just to handle the delivery orders. I was beyond impressed to see this trend and I foresee the use of delivery platforms being used more widely in the F&B industry moving forward. What the future has in store, Nick Johari told Business Today that he plans to expand and diversify the business in the near future. I also want to be a part of Cloud Kitchen where I am able to work in the same space as other local and international brands. Besides that, Nick Johari is in the midst of finalizing their drive through and franchising their products that included the Samba Mafia, Samba Blacha Mafia, Thai Tea Sawadee Cup and Heaven and Sky T.O. Ice Limau Thai.